We've seen this narrative before, and yes, what I'm referring to is LeBron James wanting to play with Steph Curry. On a podcast recently, LeBron James said that if there was one player he would want to play with in today's NBA, it would be Steph Curry. Steph Curry? Steph Curry's the one that I want to play with, for sure. We've seen LeBron James try and recruit Steph Curry to the Los Angeles Lakers, but we've never seen a narrative like this where LeBron James might possibly leave the Los Angeles Lakers in 2023 free agency for the Golden State Warriors. But before all this occurred in the past few weeks, like I said earlier, LeBron James has tried to recruit Steph Curry on the Los Angeles Lakers, and Steph just won't go for it. He signed a massive contract just last year for the biggest contract in NBA history. And on top of all that, why would he lead the Golden State Warriors, a team that he has played with his entire career and won three championships with and two MVPs with? I mean, Stephen Curry is on top of the basketball mountain. Why would he lead the Golden State Warriors? And he's even said multiple times that he does not want to lead the Golden State Warriors, specifically for the Los Angeles Lakers, when LeBron has been recruiting him. But all. No. <laughs> well, he got it. We, we got his wish. So he's the captain. He's picked me the last two uh, All Star games. So I don't know if that suffices. But I'm good right now. How does it make you? So Steph Curry has rejected the idea of him joining the Los Angeles Lakers. But LeBron has picked Curry in the last two NBA All Star games in the draft, and this has all got fans thinking: Is LeBron heading to the Bay? I'm not saying it's likely at all, but there's probably a 10% chance LeBron will sign with the Warriors in free agency. And then I think Bronny will probably get drafted by the Warriors in that offseason. But I'm just saying if that were to happen, it probably won't. But I'm definitely questioning LeBron's thinking here if he does want to go to the Golden State Warriors in free agency next offseason. I mean, why would you want to considering Stephen Curry is one of your biggest rivals of all time and an individual that beat you three times in the NBA Finals out of four years meeting together? But, you know, that's what today's NBA is. It's not like in the 90s when stars legit hated each other and had extreme rivalries. Yes, we still do see rivalries in the NBA, but it's more of a now thing where it's like, okay, let's have you on my team and we can team up as star players even though we've had a bit of a beef before. And in LeBron James's case, he does this a lot. He did that to get Anthony Davis. He did that to get Russell Westbrook. Heck, he did that to get Kevin Love. NBA stars nowadays, especially LeBron James, love to play general manager. But in this piece of news, what does the media think about all of this? And what does LeBron think about this himself? Warriors on NBC Twitter reports to us that LeBron James is wishing Draymond Green good luck in the playoffs. And I feel like we've seen this narrative before. This is what Kevin Durant did after he played the Warriors in the playoffs in 2016 and then got an early first round exit. Now, in Kevin Durant's case, he congratulated everybody on the floor while Russell Westbrook stormed off into the locker room heated. And then what do you know KD joined the Warriors the next season. In LeBron's case though, in this narrative, the Lakers are not even making the playoffs this year. But we're seeing shades of what Kevin Durant did with, you know, hanging out with Draymond Green. LeBron is definitely doing that and wishing him good luck in the playoffs. LeBron is rooting for the Warriors, and I think all the pieces might be set up for LeBron to go to the Golden State Warriors. He's getting frustrated with the Los Angeles Lakers, especially for the third time in his career not making the playoffs this season. This was the most disappointing team in NBA history. The Los Angeles Lakers were expected to be the one seed in the Western Conference and they didn't even make the play. The NBA regular season is now over and LeBron James is going to be planning on what he does in the next few years in the NBA.
Now, like I said before, I don't think there's a huge chance of him going to the Golden State Warriors, but it's definitely a possibility. Of course, Stephen Curry straight up rejected his offer of going to the Los Angeles Lakers. I don't think Stephen Curry will ever leave the Golden State Warriors, especially since he just signed that incredible, humongous, massive contract with them. But I do think it is possible if LeBron and Steph were to team up and play on the same team, the Golden State Warriors. I could definitely see that. All the pieces are in place. And I think it might be just a matter of time until the NBA is broken. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Click subscribe, turn notifications on, like, share, comment, all the good stuff. And as always, I'm your boy Hyper Hooper Basketball, and we're out.